जननीम शारदा देवी राम कृष्ण जगद गुरु पाद पद्मे तयो श्रुवा प्रणमा मुहूर्म Dear devotees and friends, so we have assembled today to celebrate the Mother Stiti Puja. You know that uh, the Tithi is according to the position of the stars and planets, and that came a uh, two, three days before. But as because it is a working day, and in America and Europe it is impossible. to organize any program on working days so we celebrated we did the puja uh, in a humble way over here on that particular time but today we will be celebrating the tithi puja you are most welcome to attend this tithi puja and uh, we will have the reading from the biography of shri ma sharada devi we will have the devotional songs i will sing and then you can join me and there will be a talk two talks will be there and uh, then we will conclude with the prashad the pushpanjali and prashad so that is the whole celebration now when we are inviting you to celebrate the mother stiti puja some sort of mother and all our children so obviously we need not to invite or to welcome you are always welcome over here because it's a mother's house and you have every right everything to come and to pray and to talk and to sit with the mother but as an organization sometimes it is necessary so it goes with the officially that somebody should be there to organize this thing so i am here so i am welcoming you on behalf of the vivekananda vedanta society the picture that you see in the program sometimes you will find there is the temple of ma sharada muni devi in jairambati so i think some of you have got not all so this is the temple of the jairambati the particular village is named jairam bati bati means the house so jairam bati and exactly in this situ in position the mother the divine mother she took birth so that was year mark that to earth and afterwards when the ramakrishna mission could purchase that particular property we purchased and we developed her shrine over there temple over there and uh, we are temple we are and then slowly slowly the swami in charge now over in jairambati as because it is an international attraction now the mother has become the mother of all so from different parts of the world people like to go over there like to spend some time and it is said that if you can spend three nights and three days in that holy place in jairambati your body and mind will be purified that the ma sharada mani devi said so believing that word the different people from different places they like to go or like to stay but accommodation is very less so they are trying to purchase the land and also to build some of the houses so that people can go they can stay and there will be the library there will be other displays and uh, all sorts of things so that people they can go and develop the spiritual life so that is also an opportunity if you like you can help them donate them and now i will request anna is one of our Valentia she is a very young and very recently she has come to the Vedanta society many of you don't know her and she has come from the Michigan and almost near to our Ganges the asthma so she will be reading from the biography of Sri Ma Sharada Devi and a place Good morning 
Thank you. Namaste, friends. Um, my name is Anna, as Swami Ishatmananda has just said, and I'm a devotee here. And my pranams are revered to Swami Ishatmananda Ji. Um, today I'd like to share a reading about a holy mother, Sri Sarada Devi, on her birth and education, as told by Swami Ta Tapasi Nanda. <coughs> Sri Sarada Devi, the Holy Mother, was born the eldest child of her devoted parents on the 22nd of December, 1853. Born and brought up in the rural atmosphere of Jarambati, her early training was just like that of any poor village girl of India belonging to the higher castes. Even as a little girl, she helped her mother in cooking, and often when the latter could not attend to it for unavoidable reasons, she used to take her place in the kitchen. Referring to these experiences of her early days, the Holy Mother used to say, I cooked and my father helped me to take down the big rice pot from the oven. As to the other types of work she was accustomed to do, she said, in my childhood, I sometimes used to go into neck deep water and cut grass for the cows. I carried tiffin to the laborers in the field. During one season, the paddy was destroyed by pests and I had to collect the grain from one field after another. As a girl, she was too serious and self-composed to give herself up to childish games like others of her age. And she would never quarrel with anybody while playing. When others fell out, she would meditate and establish cordial relations. In play, she used to personate herself either as the mistress or governess of the house. Among her playthings, there were some dolls, but she was more interested in the clay images of Kali and Lakshmi, where she, which she devoutly worshipped with flowers and bilva leaves. Once on the occasion of the bilva, on the, I'm sorry, you have to forgive me, I'm also learning Sanskrit as I go. Um, Jagadati Puja, she was meditating on the goddess with such deep concentration and sense of identification with her that the sight of it struck in awe in her mind of Ramiti Goshal of Haldipukar. Much of her time was taken up with looking after her own younger brothers. Sometimes she went with them to the village school, but since the literary education was not considered quite a necessary accomplishment for a village girl in those days, no one seemed to have taken any trouble to teach her or to ensure her attendance in school. She did, however, a keen desire to study, and in later days, learned to read by her own efforts. Referring to this, she said, Lakshmi and I used to read the Bengali Prima, a little at Kamapukar. My nephew, Hiride, snatched the book away from me. He said, women should not learn to read and write. Are you preparing yourself in this way to read novels and dramas later on? But Lakshmi did not give up the book. She belonged to the family, and therefore she held on to her book. Mm -hmm. I, Sarada Devi, later on went on to say, I secretly took a copy, bought one for, for one Anna, and Lakshmi used to attend the village school. On returning home, she would teach me, but I really improved my capacity to read only long after at Dakshinawa. My master, the master, Sri Ramakrishna was staying then at Sayampraka for treatment. I was all alone, a girl belonging to the family of Bhava Makyaji, and used to come to the temple garden to bathe in the Ganges. Now and then, she would spend a long time with me. She used to give me lessons and afterwards examine me, and in return I would give her a large quantity of greens and vegetables and other articles of food that were sent to me from the temple gardens. Though she could read quite well, she never mastered the art of writing. In later days, a disciple wanted to have an autograph from her, and she agreed in a way, but the effort to write her own name was in vain. She scrawled and scrawled, and being unable to produce anything readable, gave up the attempt. This does not mean that the rural surroundings of her early days did not provide her with any facilities of education. In India, culture has never been identified with literacy. The Indian mind has devised methods of its own for the training of the head and the heart of its own 
the head and the heart of an unconscious assimilation of the nation's highest ideals without unduly emphasizing the pedagogue's art, the religious life of the family, the atmosphere of self-abnegation and service in which girls grow up, the temple festivals, the recitals of epics, village dramas, devotional narratives, These and several other factors like the, of nature provide even women who live a comparatively isolated life with facilities for developing a unified character, undistracted by the conflicting thoughts and ideals that flow into the minds of the literate that commercial publishing playhouse produce. The Holy Mother had plenty of opportunity to receive the training that such an environment provided. As we have seen, Jarambati and its neighborhood were not without religious festivals. Yatra performances, a form of devotional drama, were frequent in those times, and she had occasion to attend many of them. In her instructions to disciples, the Holy Mother used to quote verses and aphorisms that had been printed on her memory by attending such performances in her early days. What was more, the care and contact of her poor but cultural and devoted parents were an educational facility of no mean importance. That the Holy Mother was powerfully impressed by them is plain and from great regard and appreciation with which she always spoke of them in later days. And above all, she had in her girlhood the rare good fortune of coming in contact with a great soul in the most intimate relationship of a woman's life, a contact which in time helped her to understand and realize the purpose of education in the highest sense. Namaste. Thank you. Our MC, Swami Bharadananda Ji, uh, suddenly he fell ill and we had to admit him in the hospital. He is now in the hospital. Unfortunately, uh, today morning we came to know that the condition is not very good, but we are hoping that he will be all right and we are missing him. Uh, we will be praying to Mother for her recovery quickly. Now, uh, let us offer our pranam to Ma Sharadamani Devi and also we will meditate on him. So when we are meditating, the meditation on Sharada Devi, it gives the description of the God of the Goddess. And the people, they are supposed to close their eyes and imagine that. So let us first offer our pranam. Yathagne dahika shakti In the, that paper, the first, it is there written. So you can hold and you can chant from there. Yathagne dahika shakti Ram Krishna Stita Hiya Sarva Vidya Sarupam Tam Saradam Pranamam Yaham Saradam Pranamam Yaham Aham, Aham means I, I am offering my pranam to Ma Sarada 
and who is he sarva vidya sarupa now everything is vidya shami vivekananda in one of his talk he mentioned it is the knowledge only why we survive what, what is the goal of human life it is vidya is the knowledge and that ultimate vidya is that i am god now is it just this moment when he is showing the hand like this the pujari the worshiper and he is mentioning i am that sri ramakrishna sarva deva devi sarupaya ramakrishnaya so i am that sri ramakrishna in his own body he is trying to feel that it is revolutionary and that is vedanta so this here it says as the fire and the burning capacity of the fire are inseparable similarly ma sharada and sri ram krishna they are inseparable why because intellect and the power we will discuss afterwards and she is the embodiment sarupa sa rupa means embodiment of sarva vidya different type of knowledges and the hindus they categorize vidya knowledge in two types one is para and another apara the para vidya apara vidya one is spiritual knowledge and another is mundane knowledge so the both are there so let us again do it knowing the meaning of it yathagne dahika shakti राम कृष्णे स्थिता हिया सर्व विद्या स्वरूपाम ताम सारदाम प्रणमाम्यहम now we will chant the dhyana mantra so we are meditating on ma sarada how it is described om dhai chitya sarojastam sukhasinam kripa mayim प्रसन्न वदना देवी दिभुजा स्थिरलोचना द्विभुज भुज मीन्स द हैंड्स बाहु और भुज इज टू हैंड्स एंड द बोथ द हैंड्स शी इज नॉट टेन हैंड्स और फोर हैंड टू हैंड्स एंड वी आर मेडिटेटिंग that divinity on the lotus of our heart this is the imagination of the yogis that the lotus is there within our heart and it is not the physical heart the doctors they know it is a heart is a imaginative yogis they see that and there is a lotus over that she is sitting how she is sitting sukhasinam sukha very comfortably asina Sit, sitting over there, and how is she? Kripa Moim. She is the full of compassion, and her face is prasanna badanam. Her face is lighted with smile because she is very happy with the children. Dibhujam sthiralo chanam, but the eyes are fixed on the children. As a mother constantly watches the children, so that is their mentioning. so again let us chant this knowing the meaning om dhai chittam sarojastam sukhasinam kripa mayim prasanna vadanam devim दिभुजा स्थिरलोचना आलुलायितकेशाध 
भक्ष्यस्थलिमंडिता श्वेतवस्त्रृतांगा हेमलूषिता शी इज डेकोरेटेड विथ द हेम अलंकार हेम मीन्स गोल्ड अलंकार द ज्वेलरीज द शी इज ओनली टू बिकॉज हर हजबेंड वॉज वेरी पुअ यू कूड इन गिव मच बट ओनली टू द अलंकार द बैंग बैंगल्स वे देयर दैट शी इज वेरिंग हेम अलंकार श्वेत वस्त्रृता हर शी इज कॉवर्ड विथ द वाइट क्लॉथ and that is the symbol the white cloth is the symbol of sattva guna is the purity the sattva guna you know that the hindus they have given in that way sattva is white raja is red tama is black right that the sattva what is that sattva all good qualities are sattva anything that is good love compassion service each and everything that is called sattva guna she is covering the body and her hair is flowing down from the right side of her shoulder you can see the picture and exactly that is the description she is sitting in that position now when you close your eyes and chant and pronounces these words you can imagine she is sitting comfortably with a very smiling face and her hair is rolling down flowing down her hands are on her lap and she is having the gold jewelry and like that so let us again imagine and then chant alulait keshartha bakshasthal bimanditam shwet vastra vitar dhangam हेमलंकार भूषिता शक्रूढ़नस्तहस्ता स क्रूड क्रूड मीन्स द लैप स द ओन क्रूड द लैप ऑन हर ओन लैप शी हेज स्केप्ट हर हैंड्स स क्रूड नस्त हस्ता सक्रूढ़नस्तहस्ता ज्ञान भक्ति प्रदायिनी शुभ्रा ज्योतिर्मयी जीवपापसतापहारिणी हाउ द मदर इज सिटिंग द शी इज सिटिंग वेरी कंफर्टेबली कीपिंग बोथ हार ओन हैंड्स on her own lap and these two hands are the symbol of gyana and bhakti gyana is the knowledge bhakti is the devotion now gyana knowledge what is that knowledge the god alone exists and she is now existing as mother the moment we think about mother a devotion comes attachment comes gyana bhakti pradayinim and shubham jyoti mohim again it is the white and it is the bright the knowledge gives the light ignorance is darkness now we look at outside you can see everything but in the night time when it is dark you can't see anything the same way when you are awakened you know that i am not this ordinary person i am divine i am the child of god the as swami vivekananda says i i the child of god no power above and below the sun can do any harm to me that is called abhayam so that is spirituality here says the mother is sitting giving that knowledge but finally it says ram krishna gat pranam तन्नाम श्रवण प्रिया तद्भावरंजिता जगन्मात्रीस्वरूपिनी जगन्मात्री 
She is the mother of the whole universe. She is the creator. Now how God is creating all religion, they say, they are all, we are agreeing, God has created this universe. The God has created this universe, how? Through the power. Without the power, how God can create? Have you seen the image of Goddess Kali? The Goddess Kali, she is having the human skull hanging from uh, on, on her, from the, from her, on her, as a garland, the human skull. And the human hands are hanging from her waist. The head is the symbol of knowledge, and hands are the symbol of work. The knowledge is there, no work, it is of no use. I know how to drive, but I won't drive. What is the use of it? And now, I don't know how to drive, but I am ready to drive. Another difficulty. The police will be there to stop you. So these two are necessary. The knowledge and work should go together. So the mother, Ma Kali, she is knowledge and she is. The, here also we find Ramakrishna Gata Pranam. Her soul was nothing but Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. Tad Nama Sravana Priyam. If anyone is repeating the name of Ramakrishna, 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 mother is very happy. Because it is not the name, it is the idea. That is slowly generating. Tad Bhavaranjita Akaram. Akara. The whole form is that Bhava. Bhava means that philosophy or that thought. What is that? Love and unselfishness. It is only love and unselfishness. Some people, those who love, you will find in their physically also so attractive and you don't find anything wrong in them. You feel like going to them and talk to them. But those who are very cruel type, their whole physically also, they will show their eyes are very cruel. Looks are very cruel because all the time they are suspecting. So this Tadbhavaranjitakaram Jagan Matri Sarupinim. So let us chant this last mantra again. Rama Krishna Gata Pranam Tadbhava Sravana Priyam Sravana Priyam Tadbhavaranjita Karam Jagan Matri Sarubini. Okay, the, now uh, there will be a talk, uh, and uh, you all know that our Mr. Ramanuj Bhattacharya, the, he will be giving a talk on the Divine Mother, Masaradamani Devi. Ramanuj is very well known as a pujari in the Bengali community. He is very famous. He, he does puja, Durga puja and other pujas in the Bengali community. Of course he is an officer and you know that all as the Indians came here, settled over here, a very educated person. But at the same time he is very devoted. And whenever he talks, he never talks about anything else but spirituality. The Swamiji, I have a question, these always, that means his thought is always on the spirituality, on religion, and that is very unique. As a students of science and an engineer and settle in that profession, but still the mind is in God. Why? Because of his father. He was a devoted person. I heard that from him. He was a very devoted person. So that way, if the parents are good, that percolates, that goes, the influence goes to the children. And sometimes we make mistake. Oh, religion is for the elderly people. Wrong. Religion for the kids. Religion for the young minds. Why? Because that gives the confidence, the strength. Life is always challenging. We do not know what is going to happen. Now yesterday, day before yesterday, Swami Bharatanandaji was here 
And you know, I used to have some fun with him. And with whom shall I? That is, he was the only soul. So, <laughs> so suddenly he is not here. And in the family, people will be crying and wailing and complaining. And but here, so this is life. What to do? We were here for ten years together. Now maybe it is time the mother is asking him to go to heart. It's okay. So this is called the spirituality, understanding the truth. The I, I just called Ramanuj over phone and told Ramanuj, do you like to give a talk on mother? And he immediately said, I am so thankful to you. I should be thankful to him because he immediately accepted. Thank you, Ramanuj. Please come and give a, your idea about mother. Ram Swamiji for giving such a loving introduction about me. Om Jananim Sharadam Devim Ramakrishnam Jagadgurum Padupadme Tavasitva Pranamami Muhurmuhu. Revered Swamiji, my pranam, dear friends, my namaskar and best wishes. I would like to thank Swami Shatpanandaji immensely for his ask to speak on Holy Mother. And that opportunity allowed me to think of Mother for a couple of hours or maybe more. And that's why I feel blessed. And uh, speaking anything on Mother is a futile effort. But I'm sure she will accept my effort with love and affection. Holy Mother is a unique personality in the entire spiritual realm. Although there are many dimensions to her, according to Swami Gambhirananda, we typically see Holy Mother from three aspects, as the goddess, as the mother, and the bestower of knowledge. So let's briefly talk about that because of time. First, her goddess form. Sri Ramakrishna himself has given us her goddess identity, revealed the, her goddess identity to us. She herself confessed her goddess nature and identity and even showed her goddess form to some chosen few. She has also said that she is one with Sri Ramakrishna. The direct disciples, including Swami Vivekananda and Swami Brahmananda, have mentioned that Mother is the Shakti and she accompanied Sri Ramakrishna to complement his work and spread his words. You may recall that a Dakoid family saw her as the mother Kali at the Telovelo ground. Sri Ramakrishna's nephew Shivaram or Shibu heard from her directly that she is none other than mother Kali. And funny thing is that she told Swami Brahmachari, uh, Brahmachari Gyan Maharaj not to beat up the cats when she is away because she also lives in them. Now let, let's discuss her motherly aspect. A mother has unfailing love and affection for her children. Everybody around Ma Sarada felt her out of the world, motherly love and affection which many found even more than what they received from their own biological mother. She herself said, I am the mother of the honest and the dishonest, Shoteroma or Shoteroma, mother of good and bad. Like a true mother, she loved both the successful and the unsuccessful son or daughter equally. She even said, like Sharot is my son, Amjad is also my son. Just think of it for a second. Amjad is an illiterate Muslim dacoit. And Swami Saradananda was the secretary of the Ramakrishna mission, Martin mission, and a direct disciple of none other than Sri Ramakrishna. She also said that it is mother's responsibility to wash the dot on the child before picking him or her on the lap. 
She never discriminated anybody against based on caste, religion, money, status, or other attributes. When somebody did not want to buy British made clothes during the Swaraj movement, she said that even British were also her children and approved of buying British made clothes. But she never approved their wrongful actions. Now, as the bestower of ultimate knowledge, Sri Ramakrishna himself said, she is the goddess Saraswati who has come to bestow the true knowledge, the ultimate knowledge. Holy Mother has also upheld the main ideals of Sri Ramakrishna in the right spirit. You know, although Sri Ramakrishna proclaimed as many opinions, so many paths, and Swami Vivekananda declared him as the avatar of the universal religion, Holy Mother said that she never felt that Thakur had knowingly planned every aspect of his sadhana or messages. She said that the most important characteristic of Sri Ramakrishna is ultimate renunciation. Holy Mother has reminded us that the mother of the universe got everything done through Sri Ramakrishna. What a spiritual insight. You know, this is called Pragya Drishti, the kind of insight that comes from ultimate knowledge. I read that a Brahmachari once asked Swami Shantananda, I believe, a direct disciple of Holy Mother, if she, he had seen Holy Mother in deep samadhi, like Sri Ramakrishna. Swami Shantananda did not reply initially. Then he asked again, no reply. But he asked again, third time. This time, Swamiji got agitated a bit. So what a question are you asking? Is she an ordinary sadhika or ordinary spiritual aspirant hanking after samadhi? She herself is the bestower of samadhi. She gives it to us. You need to understand the depth of this statement from none other than Swami Shantananda. Let's consider a few comments on Mother. Sri Vivekananda didn't distinguish between Sri Ramakrishna and Holy Mother. He wrote in a poem that Dashami Dohakar, that means I am the servant of you both. He wrote in a letter to Swami Ramakrishnananda, please offer my repeated prostrations. Dulla Abalunthita Pradam, Shashtanga Pradam in Bengali which I am doing by rolling over the dust. And I am her servant, Janma Janmantre Dash. I am the servant of all past lives and all lives to come. Her blessings are all auspicious to me. Look at the language and the level of respect and devotion by none other than Swami Vivekananda. Swamiji added, the word ring, you know, you say Om ring tamachalo in the Aratrik. That ring Swamiji added as a respect to mother Shakti Bija. And when he heard that Akshay Kumar Shen was writing Ramakrishna Puthi and there was no mention of mother, he immediately spoke to Akshay Shen and said, how come you're not adding a, 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 in a something on mother? So Akshay Shen added, Jayo Mata Shama Shuta Jagot Jagoni Ramo Krishna Bhukti Datri Chaitanya Daini. <coughs> so means I bow down to daughter of Shama Shundari Devi, who is also Jagat Janani, the mother of the world. She is the bestower of devotion for Sri Ramakrishna. As well, as well as the bestower of Chaitanya. <coughs> Swami Brahmananda also had very high respect for mother and devotion. Just let me give you one example. One of his disciples from Dhaka, Sri Birendranath Basu, came to request Samaji to come to Dhaka, now in Bangladesh. And he refused vehemently. He was not at all in agreement. 
but at the advice of Swami Premesh Premanand, you know, these disciples were always playing with each other. So at the advice of Swami Premananda, he went to mother and got mother's permission. Once Swami Brahmananda heard about mother's wish, he lovingly visited Dhaka without any hesitation. So finally, let me attempt to provide a little more insight into mother's other activities. A Swami called her Gondi Bhanga Ma, which means that the mother cannot be put within a definite boundary. Holy Mother is considered the Shangho Janani, and she was instrumental for the upbringing of the Mart and Mission from a state of infancy to a much stronger position by the time of her death in 1920. Her spiritual guidance, blessings, and prayers to Thakur for the sannyasis were critical for the survival of the Mart and Mission during the initial period. She played the role of Lila Sangini, divine concert uh, for the divine play by Thakur. Shara, um, this is Shahodharmini, one who aids, one who aided Sri Sri Thakur to contribute to the spiritual activities as wife. Tapaswini, performer of intense tapasya, particularly after the death of Sri Sri Thakur. Shakti Rupini acted as the divine Shakti for none other than Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Rupini behave as Mother Lakshmi herself. Sita Rupini in the form of Sita. Radha Rupini in the form of Radha. And the list goes on. She was the mother particularly for the unfortunate, exploited and very poor people. She did not rigidly follow the caste system or differently treat people from other religions when she felt that they had true devotion. Although she was a sannyasini, she demonstrated the true life of a householder. She has had tremendous contribution in refining the Shakti Tattva and ushering the Vedanta in a new light. She has demonstrated how a modern Indian woman should behave and be conscious of her societal responsibilities. She has pushed for mass education and good medical help for all. She has provided answers to many daily challenges in our lives. She is one of the last representatives of ancient wisdom and a front runner in the new and upcoming ideals and traditions. Holy Mother is the living embodiment of Sri Ramakrishna's mother worship. Sri Ramakrishna transmitted his spiritual practices and the ultimate spiritual attainment into Ma Sarada transforming her into the universal mother. Thus, Holy Mother is the unique spiritual personality in the entire spiritual realm, and yet so near and dear to us. She is our mother. No other spiritual personality of the highest order has appeared to us as our own with so much love affection, unselfishness, compassion, protection, and unmistakable direction in resolving the practical challenges of life. When, what a magnanimous personality in such a simple little educated village lady who in her own right forces us to bow down in front of her with utmost reverence. May she protect us all. May she protect Swami Varadananda as well. I bow down to her repeatedly and ask for any forgiveness. Thank you. Anybody? The time was short, but still we got the glimpse of the mother, the Ramanuj presented. She is the divine mother, but at the same time she is the teacher. So that's why she is to help us to develop the understanding, clear spiritual understanding. <clears throat> As the Ramanuj mentioned, many of you have read that uh, there was a cat. Mother used to love that cat. But there was a brahmachari, he never liked that cat. 
And whenever there is an opportunity, he used to try to beat that cat. The mother knew that he doesn't like the cat. That mother was leaving the, for a distant place, and the brahmachari was supposed to look after the cat, and mother understood that the cat will have difficult time. So, so he called the brahmachari and said, please look after the cat. Mother is asking, you know, for us, if the President Maharaj or the General Secretary Maharaj says something, that is sufficient. We never challenge that. Immediately, that is the discipline. Immediately we accept that as the word of God. And now the mother herself is telling. So obviously the brahmachari was supposed to look after. But mother even was not very much confident whether he will be able to control his anger. So he said, I live in that gap. So that is a very strong word, and that is Vedanta. The God is in everything. So this way, the mother taught and uh, showed the motherly affection also. So let us sing a song. Boikunta hote lokhielo. When the Ramanuj, uh, he was mentioning, he gave the list. There's so many different aspects of the Shakti. So here in this song we'll find you see page number three, the first song, meaning, uh, the English meaning is there, so I am not going to give the meaning. Please sing with me. Vaikuntho hote lokhi elo piti vilei mati te Jai Ram bati te Jai Ram bati te This is the tune. So we will break and sing. Vaikuntho hote lokhi elo priti vilei mati te Vaikuntho hote Jai Ram Bhati Te, 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 Gram Khani Je Jai Ram Bhati Te, Jai Ram Barush o shat atoi poosh Barush Mai rabiri bhav Mai lure dur korite Trita abshokota Barush o shat atoi poosh Mai rabiri bhav Mailure Durkurite Trita Abshokota Dukir Gare John Monilo Bhakta Jano Tarate Jai Ram Batite Jai Ram Jai Ram Poti Pelo Jagat Guru Ram Krishna Nam Charone Charone Tar Mile Param Dham Go Mile Param Dham Charone Poti Pelo Jagat Guru Ramakrishna Nam Poti Pelo Jagat Guru Ramakrishna Nam Charo Ram Chandra Pita Mayer Shama Devi Mata Ram 
আমোদরের তীরে এলো জগতের এই মাতা দামোদর ইজ এ বিগ রিভার আমোদর ইজ এ স্মল লিটল রেভুলেট বাট দ্য সাম ওয়ান হু ওয়াজ টাইপিং আমোদর ন ইট শুড বি আমোদর আমোদ আমোদ মিন্স জয় দ্য প্রমোদ আমোদ So this small rivulet, it is not Damodar, it is Amodar. Ramachandra Pita Mair Shama Devi Mata Amodar Er Tire Elo Jagaterei Mata Mohamaya Elo Jere ভক্তি প্রেম বিলাতে মহামায়া এলো জেরে ভক্তি প্রেম বিলাতে জয় রাম বাটিতে জয় রাম বাটিতে জয় রাম বৈকুণ্ঠ হতে লক্ষ্মী এলো পৃথিবীর এই মাটিতে পৃথিবীর এই মাটিতে জয় রাম বাটিতে নাও আই উইল ইনভাইট দ্য অ্যানাদার স্পিকার অন হোলি মাদার দ্য লরা জর্জ শি ইজ এ প্রফেশনাল লয়ার and she is practicing law and she is coming from far away place in the michigan where she drove and then she came and she stayed over here uh, i will request her to express her views about masha the money devi laura please Namaste everyone. Namaste. <laughs> um, the Holy Mother once said, you know, the master only allows very few, select few close to him, but to me he leaves all the rest. And it's a funny statement, you know, but this morning at breakfast I learned that Bengali language is the sweetest language. So when she said it, it must have sounded, it must have been very sweet. Um, but what I take from that is that everyone is her child. And that was already said earlier today. Now, unlike Ramanuja, when I was asked to come and speak about the mother, I um, responded to Maharaj and I said, oh Maharaj, I'm not qualified for one. And for two, I have to drive very far and it's impossible, and the holidays, all I saw were obstacles, right? But Maharaj said, so it is settled then. You will come, we will see you there, and thank you. And I thought about that, and it reminded me, so I am a, a student of yoga, and it reminded me of the Yama Satya, And if you've read the um, Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, in the Sadhana Pada, number two, verse 36, Sutra 36, it says, for one who is established in truth, actions, man actions bear fruit, is what it says. But what it also means, there are many commentaries on this, that for one who is established in truth, everything conforms to their words. So by Maharaj saying, it is settled, you will come, we will see you, I knew that it would be possible for me to be here. And there's another story like this um, about the Holy Mother. And many of you probably know it if you've read any of the um, stories of her life. Uh, earlier the speaker referenced one by Swami Tapasyananda, I read one by Swami Nikhilananda, Swami Gambhirananda, um, and the same story is in there. So the Holy Mother 
and some of companions used to walk from Jairambati to Dakshineshwar. I've never been to India, but I think that's very far. And I think it took them some days. And I understand that there was um, a dangerous passage they had to go through um, where they, no one wanted to go at night because there were robbers, maybe murderers going through there. And the Holy Mother and her friends were set out to go to Dakshineshwar and they passed through and she um, fell behind, the story goes, and she found herself alone and in the dark and she encountered one of these, maybe a robber. So he was, had dark matted hair and silver bangles and so some of you are nodding, you've read the story, and he had a heavy staff and he stood in front of her and she looked at him and she said, Father, thank you for coming to help me. I'm your daughter and I am lost. And he immediately said, oh, don't worry, my child. I have a woman with me. And then out of the shadows came a woman and she said, oh, mother, thank you for coming to help me. I am going to see your son-in-law at the Kali temple. Of course, that's Sri Ramakrishna. And um, they immediately took care of her. They took her to a shop. They made her a bed, they gave her some food, and the man with his staff stood outside the door to protect her. And in the morning, when they woke up, they, they walked with her to meet the rest of her um, group. And on the way, the woman was picking little peas for her to eat, and she was popping them in her mouth just like a child, just like a mother gives a child little snacks to keep them quiet, right? Um, and then gave her some more, said, save these for later, to eat later with your puffed rice, and, and she took them, and she did. And then eventually they um, met up with her companions. And another fact which is interesting is that they were from a much lower caste from her, so um, that she treated them as her mother and father was very interesting. But what that shows, too, is her words bore fruit. She called them mother, she called them father, and they became her mother and father. And this is her divine aspect showing, right? She was firmly established in the truth. Um, I'll share with you a short story where the mother was also there to help me through the dark when I was lost. Um, nothing too serious, you know, I was um, living in Washington, D.C. and working as a lawyer there. And um, I was always spiritually seeking always wondering what was going on really is what I was doing. And um, I was reading a lot is mostly what I was doing. So I had encountered Swami Vivekananda in some of his writings. I had read about Raja Yoga and I was doing some things my own, um, like learning about mudra or mantra and doing, uh, I started to practice a little on my own. I never wanted to go to a yoga studio because I was afraid that it would be like who had the best yoga pants and that, that you know it would be all the wrong things and I wasn't interested in this. But one day as I was wandering around wondering what's going on and trying to figure it out, I did encounter a yoga studio in um, Washington DC and I will tell you the name of it because it doesn't exist anymore so this is not a plug for the yoga studio but it was called Be Here Now Yoga which is after the book by Ram Dass. And their motto and their mission was, we love you just the way you are. And isn't that very motherly too? So it appealed to me that, oh, okay, I'll go there. And so I did, I went to this yoga studio and they had this deal, which was, um, if you try all of our classes, then you get some free thing, okay? So I was doing this to get the free thing. And one of the classes was called Jiva Mukti Yoga. I didn't know what this meant, but I liked it. It had a good ring, you know, Jeeva Mukti sounds good. And it had a little description and I said, well, that sounds challenging. That sounds like a challenge. So I joined the Jeeva Mukti class. And it was very popular. It was packed from wall to wall. Every spot was taken, except for the spot right in front of the teacher where no one wants to go in case you make a mistake, breathe wrong or something, you know. So I took my mat and I situated myself in the very center in front of the teacher. And I didn't know that Jiva Mukti yogis love to chant. So the teacher came out with her harmonium and it starts at the harmonium and she begins. 
Om Sarva Mangala Mangaliye. This is how she sang it. Shive Sarvata Sadike Sharanye Trembake Gauri Narayani Namostute. And I start to cry. I'll cry now. So I have a napkin in case that happens. And I started to sweat and I shook. And I said, I don't know what this is, but I like it. But I didn't have time to process because then she said, now all together, everybody, and everybody, Om Sarva Mangala Mangalie. And I think I managed to croak out Om, because I can do that. And probably Ma, right? But apparently this was enough to call on the mother. After that, I became very interested in yoga and I ended up going to an ashram in Virginia. And I remember very clearly that in the um, hall where we were eating, I forgot what they call it, there were pictures all around the room of holy people, avatars, and I remember Sri Ramakrishna because I thought I liked the way he dressed. And I saw Sarada Devi. I didn't know who she was. I thought, I've not, there are only two women up there. They had Mary and they had Sarada Devi. And also some others, um, Ramalingam Swamigal. I don't know if any of you know him, but that was interesting to me because he was all light and it had just a cover over his face. I thought, I'm going to figure out who that one is. That's interesting. But in any case, um, all around the ashram, there were also pictures of Vivekananda. And I ultimately became a yoga teacher. And one of my yoga teachers one day, one of my teachers gave me, um, sent me a link to the Mandukya talks by Sarva Priyananda, Swami Sarva Priyananda, of course, um, on Mandukya Upanishad. And I listened to this talk all the way through. I was walking around Washington, D.C., still, still lost, still wondering what's going on. I would listen to it in the headphones when I would walk around Capitol Hill. And this was during COVID. Um, and I thought, these guys know what they're talking about. They might know what's going on, I think. Um, so I was list kept listening to all of his talks, and then I started to join some groups online, and one of the groups um, was a chanting group led by Pravajika Dayaprana. I may have said that incorrectly. So she is out in California. And then there was also a class that was led by Swami Haranamananda, Haranamananda, uh -huh. and it was called uh, Diving Deep into the Devi Mahatmya. And it was very interesting. Um, I hated chanting in front of people. Remember, I cried when it first happened. Um, so when I was online, I was so shy, I would sometimes turn off my video or, um, or not, you know, just, it, it was hard for me. But I grew in this ability, because as I'm chanting for the mother, the mother is giving me courage. The mother is helping me, the mother is guiding me. And I just like, it is because of Maharaj that I'm here today. It's because of the mother that I'm here today, um, really worshiping at her feet and being here with her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren. Um, so thank you for listening to me. Thank you for this opportunity, and thank you for all that you teach me. Thank you, Laura, for sharing how you slowly came to this. Yeah, the, that is the way, you know, that uh, we believe that in the past lives we must have done something, and uh, at that the call comes, obviously. Wherever you are, the, from the divine it will tap you and then bring you. So that goes on. We think that we are coming, we are doing, not at all. It's all predestined. It's, it must be happening. You cannot avoid it. And if you try to do, and if that is not accepting you, you can never do that. So that is the way, if we can understand, our ego will go away. So that was excellent, uh, the way you were mentioning. Now, let us chant...
another song and then afterwards this Goga will come, Goga Arati will be there. So let us sing this song together. It is in page 4, Jayo Jayo Janani. The English meaning is already there, so I am not going to give the meaning. So you can read afterwards. Please repeat after me. Jaya Jaya Janani Jaya Sri Sharada Mani Karuna Rupini Jaya Ma This is the tune, the same, very simple. Jaya Jaya Janani Jaya Sri Sharada Mani Karuna Rupini Jaya Ma Adya Shakati Parama Prapriti Adya Shakati Parama Prapriti Asharana Gati Tumi Ma Asharana Gati Tumi Ma Jaya Jagatarini Bhava Bhaya Harini Durgati Nibarini Ma Shiddhi Pradayini Mukti Vidhayini Jeevagati Dayini Ma Jeeva Gati Dahini Ma Nikhilo Jagat Mata Jeeva Kalyan Rata Lajja Bata Brita Ma Durjana Shajana Shantana Aganana Durjana Shajana Shantana Aganana Palana Karini Ma Palana Karini Ma Durjana Shajana. Then the, she was mentioning, our Laura, that, that the mother made one decoite. And afterwards, he became famous, a very uh, known in the Ramakrishna community, Ramakrishna, uh, the devotees. The younger devotees they used to ask, you are a decoit and you went to loot. Now the mother came and said, I am your daughter and immediately you melted. What type of decoit you are? <laughs> <laughs> then he said, Ore na, no, no. I saw behind her, Ma Saradamani Devi, standing goddess Kali. We worship Kali. And after worshipping Kali, when we went out, I saw the goddess Kali standing over there. So that is why I had to bow down. So the mother was Kali. The Kali is that power, the Shakti, that is acting each and everything. That was a wrong conception about the Kali. The Shram Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna started worshipping Kali because of that.
जय सारदेश्वरी सीता राधा माता मेरी जशोधरा विष्णु प्रिया मुगदेव बंदिता सुर नर सेविता जुगदेव बंदिता जुगदेव इज भगवान श्री राम कृष्ण एंड श्री राम कृष्ण by mistake called mother as tui the sometimes we hear some of the husband talking to the wife addressing tui in bengali tui the third grade usually bengali is they call the children as tui then second grade should be tumi and then final should be apni so aap aap and tu i think in hindi so the two should not be at, uh, the addressing the wife or addressing the husband two should not be used tui should not be used in english it is okay you so but uh, in bengali it should not the bhagwan sri ramakrishna by mistake he was almost like sleeping he saw ma sharada mani devi and thought that he his niece has come by mistake said दरजा बंद कर दिए जास दिस दैट मीन्स तुई द थार्ड ग्रेट द मादर सेड ओके इमिडिएटली ही गॉट एफ एंड सेड ओ माई गॉड आई मेड ए मिस्टेक आई एड्रेस यू एस तू तू मी तुई द ही वेंट एंड सेड प्लीज आई एम एपोलोजाइजिंग अगेन एंड अगेन आई एम सॉरी दैट रेस्पेक्ट जुग देव बंदिता ही वॉज गेटिंग ऑल दिस रेस्पेक्ट शुरो नर से बीता Nara, the human being, and Sura. Sura means the devata, the god. All those are nothing but gods. Swami Vivekananda, Swami Brahmananda, they are all suras, and they used to go and prostrate before the mother. Swami Vivekananda, the purity himself, the Shiva himself, when he used to go to meet mother, then he will be going on sprinkling Ganga water again and again. Why? I am going to mother. so there should not be any wrong thing in me so that is sura nara sevita let us conclude jugo deva bandita sura nara sevita namo narayani ma नमो नारायणी मा नो फर्स्ट लाइन वी विल चांड वी विल डू टुगेदर नाउ यू हैव लर्न जय जय जननी देन वाई यू आर वेटिंग फॉर मी अगेन अच्छा आई विल स्टार्ट जय जय जननी जय गुड आद्या आद्याशक्ति आशरण गति तुम्हें शरण गति तुम्हें मा जय जय जननी जय श्री शारदा मणि करुणा रूपिनी जय मू विल लर्न बेंगाल यू क्विकली नाउ आई थिंक द भोग पूजा You have another 
this page page number 4 so that is a sri sharada naam sankirtan the sharada naam sankirtan and when we write sri s r i sri that sri means everything that is good that is called sri and that is the reason they always in india you will say sri so 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 that's called sri means he is having all those unique qualities but in tantra tantra the you know that in hinduism there are three main paths one is vedanta tantra and bhakti the tantra is a separate individual path they follow to reach to the ultimate goal so that's called the sri vidya the vidya and sri the sri is the goal and vidya is the process and there is a wonderful discussion on that is there sri vidya this sri has been always you'll find sri rama krishna sri ma sarada they will all say like that but here the sri ma sarada she is the power of god now is a little philosophy suppose the god is creating now you have to be little attentive that when i am doing something now this moment i am talking an action the moment we are doing some action that means three qualities are working one is sattva raja and tama this is the indian philosophy they accept sattva good raja the mixture of good and bad tama all bad so this three permutation combination this all creation now when the god is creating that means these three qualities are activated any one whether it is god or a human being if these three qualities are there that is limited any one doing anything with the three qualities and it is limited anything limited is going to be destroyed now that is the question is god going to die can god die cannot then god is creating how he is creating you know how he is creating you are also god i am also god we also create when we create hmm who can say in our dream we create all the time thank you in our dream constantly we are creating we are also the creator and when we are creating in our dream we create everything the bird the the tree and the animal a friend enemy all we are going on creating god also created in the same way many of you have heard in the bible it is said there was no light so let there be light the god said let there be light immediately light came so he created out of his own mind as if he is giving the command and everything is coming up so this is the creation all this creation is gods and you know to god this creation is like child's creation of his playhouse just like that the children when they are making their dolls and the and the child can hear the doll is crying and she will be in a what are you are doing now she is hungry i have to cook food quickly and if you laugh and she will be angry the little girl because it is so serious for her and they will be having some diseases and there will be doctors will be there whole world the child has created and for her it is so real same way god has created this world but the problem is we think it is real when we are sleeping and seeing the dream the dream is real to us right but after the dream when we get up we say oh my god is good that i got up 
And sometimes you become angry, somebody pushed you to get up because the dream was wonderful. So you thought that I have become the king and I am flying in the American, the fl flight number one and all this. So, and like that we all imagine and I was enjoying and suddenly somebody came and told, hey, get up, why are you sleeping? Then you become angry. So that this, our happiness, our misery, all this imagination. But it's so difficult to understand. Why? Oh, my child, my wife, my husband, my father, my mother, my poverty, and my Tesla. Then what will happen? <laughs> so all these things, now the Tesla is coming. So then all these things, everything is so, so real to us. Shall we give up everything? If it is possible, good. But if it is not, then they say, leave in that, but unattached. Like, have you seen that great swan? All those, they come from the Canada, they will be all on the water. They are in, in the water, floating on the water. But during the moment they get up, not a drop of water on them. So that is the only way that we have to learn, and that is religion. All this puja, all this singing, all this chanting, all the fasting, all the prasad, all these things are going on only to get that knowledge. And what is that knowledge? Vidya. And who is that Vidya? Sri. The Sri Vidya. Now God doesn't do anything. Only he thinks and start the creation. That's all. And differentiate. One lady came and she was telling, you always ask for donation, ask for money. But previous Swamiji, Swami Vashyanandaji never wanted money. I said, huh? How is that possible? The, he purchased so many buildings and also the Ganges property without money. Now, he never touched money. Somebody else, I, said, I also don't touch money. Bharadanandaji does. <laughs> so, because the same tradition, I only say give money, but receiving there. So the <laughs> without that, is it possible? So that is not the thing, whether we are accepting money and all, am I receiving for myself? So this is the thing. This ashrama, why we do? To go on giving the moral values to the people. That's all, and nothing else. When you come over here, we call people, contact people, invite people, we visit them. Why you know? Only one purpose to constantly giving them moral values. But the problem is, if you give other things, they will be interested. But if you like to give moral values, they are not interested. So what should be your position? Like a doctor, the Swami Vivekananda said, can you take the position of a physician who is pouring the life-giving medicine into the mouth of a child who is kicking him? The child doesn't know, they're refusing. The most of the time the devotees say, please come to visit our strong. Yes, Maharaj will come. You know, actually, we were planning, but the final football game came. So what to do? As a football game is over, Messi has success and all that. Now you come, but actually we are celebrating that. Now, something or other, they will be there. They won't like to come. But if we give up, then that will be wrong. So that's why you have to go on keeping touch with the people. But why? We don't know them. We don't know their names also. But still we love them. And what is that love? They will suffer. Unless and until they know this truth, they will suffer. And when they are suffering, that goes to mother also. That is the reason all the time the monks, true genuine monks, who is not having any individual agenda or anything personal, they love people. So what is religion? Love. Love is there, but love should be completely unselfish. And for that, all these practices, all these practices for that only. See, the pujari, 
he is fasting from the morning and then he is offering all this food so naturally they may feel oh good food it's okay i will get it after some time but when the after puja and cleaning all those things when he goes down in the meantime the devotees they have all they, they forgot the who did the puja and they finished it and they go away what should be his situation they'll be angry why you have not kept something for me i did the puja i was then it is wrong again he has to control himself and say ach okay no problem mother has kept something for me so this is the way the testing goes if you are alone and the most of the people they live alone so i don't like to talk with anyone i don't like to mix with anyone i am all alone then you were a very highly religious person because there is no conflict you will find all advanced people advanced society they live with dogs but not with human being there will be two three five dogs they can live with dogs but why human being talks dogs bark of course but human being will express their views and oppose you there will be conflict and if you like to go to some this shop and he will say no nah, i like to go over there but you have to adjust so what is life adjustment life means adjustment a husband and wife two completely different soul grew up in two different situation two different families and they come together in the beginning unknown so that uh, that much then afterwards when they know each other then hey, i know him so the husband wife so the love started reducing no that should not why then you are adjusting and with a great responsibility and that is why this time bhagwan sri ramakrishna married ma sharada and not only that continued his, his spiritual life with the wife shankaracharya never married chaitanya mahaprabhu married but he gave up the wife jesus christ never looked at so there is no 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 i am fine so like this but the sri ramakrishna himself told go and find that that girl you were searching in that family mukutje family in jairambati it is mat for me and continuously live with the mother without that is called paramahamsa so this time bhagwan sri ramakrishna the god himself has come for each and every one the householders and also for the monastics so both side you will find ma sharada mani devi for the householders shami vivekananda for the monastics monks and the both of them are having the power of bhagwan sri ramakrishna sri ramakrishna he gave everything to ma sharada mani devi can you imagine the ones sri ramakrishna touched with this finger to one very powerful man manmatha he was a the a very powerful person in bagbaja calcutta and he wanted to and uh, do some wrong thing with sri ramakrishna he had a bad intention he wanted to beat sri ramakrishna he came with that intention he was hired by some people sri ramakrishna only with one finger touched that man and went away he completely transformed yes. so that was the power of sri ramakrishna this sri ramakrishna worshiped ma sharada mani devi and gave everything offered everything to her and same sri ramakrishna when narendra nath the young narendra he was sitting a little distance looked to him and through the eye send all power to narendra and narendra started shouting lo the old man entered into me his body was trembling and sri ramakrishna said what you are talking in english don't you think i will understand i understand so that power entered into him 
So both Sri Ramakrishna gave the power to Ma Sarada and also to Vivekananda. You know, to, to, for Saradamani Devi, Sri Ramakrishna advised, you should not stretch your hand to receive anything from anyone. A householder should not stretch the hand to receive. Rather, if possible, give the hand, he showed the hand like this. If you possible, give. Same Sri Ramakrishna told Swami Vivekananda, you should go to house to house and collect food for me. Whatever you will bring, I will eat. If when you read the life of Sri Ramakrishna, this is very unique. For the householders, they must leave with head high, stretching the hand, receiving the alms. Householder means they are gone. They should not do it. This is for the sannyasins. Why? They have to reduce their, or to completely abolish their ego. And they are begging not for themselves, for God. So these are two different types of flow, uh, householders and the monastics. Sri Ramakrishna is the bridge between them. So Mother Saradamani Devi, she gave all different types of knowledges. Now, let us chant a little when he is offering the food to Mother. Maybe we will chant up to 16. The last page. In page number four, we will chant from here. Sri Sarada Nama Sankirtanam. We will be singing. Tvam me Brahma Sanatanima. Sarada Ishwari Shubhagema. Tvam me Brahma Sanatani Ma Tvam me you are the Brahma Sanatani and Brahman you know Brahman means all pervading consciousness and Sanatana eternal Tvam me Brahma Sanatani Ma Sharada Ishwari Shubhage Ma Brahmananda Sarupini Ma Brahma Shakti Sukha Daini Ma Satchit Sukhamaya Rupinima Sristi Stitilaya Karinima Brahma Shudham Budhikelinima Brahmatmaika Shubhankari Ma Jeebeshara Bhit Kautuki Ma Agadha Leela Rupini Ma Tvamme Brahma Sanatani Ma Sharada Ishwari Shubhage Ma Chinmaya Rupa Vilasini Ma Bahirantara Sukha Bardhini Ma Jnananda Prabharshini Ma Jnananda 
दिव्यसामृत बर्षिमा मूलाधार निवासिमा सहसार शिव शिमा आते शक्ति स्वरूपिमा चिति सुखदायिनी तारिणीमा मे ब्रह्म सनातनिमा शारद ईश्वरी शुभ गे मा इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस टाइप ऑफ चैंटिंग वी हैव डेवलप्ड ए बुक कॉल सुप्रभातम इट इज इन इंग्लिश एंड देवनागरी ऑल्सो इन बेंगाली इफ यू with the chanting uh, uh, that it is there in our bookstore so you can play that in the morning monday on shami vivekananda and shiva tuesday on ma sarada saraswati ganga wednesday sri ramakrishna thursday guru friday sri ramachandra vishnu krishna and saturday on shakti and sunday vedant so different days a different way so it is better to learn and just play that music and you are working in the morning that is good you know the atmosphere that becomes really good so you can do that another announcement i like to tell you that uh, we have on the mother stiti puja day we have published every year we publish calendar you know that this time the calendar was a research on the parliament of religion when the parliament of religion started before that in which year it was actually in london in 1851 they had that first meeting but not on religion on just business houses some the products that they so like that then in different places 1892 when they were organizing the same thing in chicago someone suggested why not religion also the di- different type of branches uh, of education we are discussing why not religion so that was the time when shami vivekananda came and that was the time the indian knowledge and america got connected so the beautiful one of our brahmacharini the she researched on that and that we have published in a calendar form so what preserving so we will be waiting now for the arati and then the pushpanjali puja pushpanjali pushpanjali and then we we'll conclude uh, this is the they, it is there we have kept and you can see this way the every month it is january uh, then february they like this everything it is there okay. and this will be very good for keeping in the and then you can go through also the previous year last year to and to the actually this year 2022 so we had uh, on the women devotees that helped shami vivekananda the how they came and they helped and all okay You can please pray to Thakur, Ma.